Hey guys, in this wild guy is going to go over how to unlock the two mythic only dungeons in BFA. And how you unlock them is a little different depending on what faction you're on. So I'm going to show how to unlock them for each faction and how to get to the dungeon entrances for each faction. Now first, Seize of Borealis for the Alliance. In order to unlock this dungeon on the Alliance side, you have to complete the long uh, main campaign. Uh, the first thing you have to do is complete all the story chapters in the three zones, Cool Tier zones, Stormsong Valley, Tiergard Sound, and Drusfar. And then when you do that, you'll get a quest back in Boralus to go talk to um, Greymane. And that starts this long quest line where you look for Jaina and free her. And it ends with you getting a quest to go into the Siege of Boralus dungeon. And when you get that, the dungeon is unlocked. Now how you get to the dungeon, if you're on the Alliance, is like from the boat, where you do the Seventh Legion stuff, it's right across on the bottom. It's underneath the Trade Winds Market. So you just go over here, and if I could jump. Just go on the wrong, long way. Right in here, to the left, is the entrance. And then next, I will show the entrance for the Horde side. And then the King's Rest Dungeon has the same entrance for both Alliance and Horde, so I'll get to that last. For the Horde faction, if you're trying to get to the... Well, first, to unlock... The Siege of Boralus um, quest line, or not the Siege of Boralus quest line, the dungeon, you have to complete the war campaign up to the uh, second to last chapter, which is reaching 7,500 rep at least in Honor Bound. And then you'll get a quest to. Where is it? right here to go to sail to the great sea and during that quest line you'll unlock the siege of Morales dungeon automatically now in order to get to the entrance it's different from the alliance side it's still in Tiragard sound but they don't have the entrance in Morales city for horde because that would be terrible so the actual entrance is the very first outpost that you set up in Tiragard sound at plunder harbor if you take the boat from, you can either fly to Plunder Harbor, or if you take the boat straight from Zoldazar, as soon as you get off the boat, you'll see the portal to the right there, to the Siege of Borealis dungeon. Now, for King's Rest, to unlock it on Alliance, it's similar to how you unlock Siege of Borealis on the Horde. You gotta get the War Campaign faction, which is 7th Legion, for Alliance get that to honored and then 7500 rep in honor and then you'll get a similar quest where you unlock the dungeon automatically and if you're looking at the achievements for whoops the war campaign ready for war it'll be the second to last achievement for horde it's at the bottom of the sea but it's a different one for the alliance now to unlock king's rest for the Horde, you just have to do the main story chapters in each Horde zone, Voldoon, Nazmir, Zuldazar. And then you'll get another quest line once that's all done, called Bloodgate, where you'll go back to Nazmir and do a quest line there, and then finally a scenario. And once the scenario is done, and you get the Zandalar Forever achievement, you'll unlock King's Rest. Now, in order to get to King's Rest, it's the same for Alliance and Horde, but it's a little tricky if you don't know where to go. You can go as a Horde player to the Atal Dazar flight point, and Alliance actually has a flight point right here. Um, and that takes you right up here to the Atal Dazar entrance. Now, to get to the King's Rest entrance, you have to, instead of going here, you turn right and go up this hill. I didn't notice this hill first time I was here and you just keep going all the way around 
until you reach the top. Because if you look at the map, you'll see that King's Rest is all the way over here. At first I tried going to the south and there was nothing. And this is the entrance. There's nothing here except for going to the dungeon. So you have to go up the hill. And when you go up the hill, you'll notice this whole area where you're technically in a tall Dazar, Just not the dungeon, the instance version. And you just keep going. Go down the stairs. Um... Either way works, but it's it's all the way over here up the steps. It's uh basically the entrance is where the the last boss is in Atal Dazar. So if you know that dungeon, just run through here. Like you're going to the last boss of the Atal Dazar dungeon. And then once you get up all the way up the steps there. you'll see the summoning stone and entrance to King's Rest. And another good thing is it's it's separate for each faction but when you unlock one of these dungeons or both of the dungeons, either one of these dungeons, when you unlock them they're unlocked for all your other characters on that account but it's only for that faction. So when I unlocked King's Rest for the Horde I could go here on all my Horde characters but I can't go here on my Alliance character I have to I have to do the unlock for the alliance side too. And then when I do that, all my alliance characters can go in. So as long as you do unlock both dungeons for each faction, all your characters on your account can go to the dungeon to e to either of the two dungeons. And that's all I have. So if this helped you, then feel free to like and subscribe because I'll be doing plenty more videos for WoW and BFA. And as always, thanks for watching.